Hi guys, this is Jo. Um, our topic today is are you able to follow direction freely and instinctively? Um, we wanted to have this topic because oftentimes we hear actors um, get really prepared, work a lot, and then get direction from the director or from the casting director and then feel like you might have experienced it, like you're shrinking, that you're feeling forced to follow their direction and therefore you have to kind of turn off your computer, close up, you may feel like you're shrinking, you may feel like you're obligated to follow the direction and drop everything that you had going on. And so that can be frustrating, right? Because you're feeling forced, you're feeling like you have no choice, you're feeling that you're hired as an actor to follow the direction. So there really isn't an option for you to keep what you've got going on with what they've got going on. And so you lose your freedom right which is frustrating because you're working on yourself as an artist you really want to bring yourself to the project you're wanting to bring your uniqueness your freedom your instinct all of that yummy life that you have inside of you but you end up closing up as soon as the director says go this way and you were going that way you kind of close up all that part of you and just diligently follow which is frustrating because you've put so much work into this into your preparation and into your instrument and then suddenly you're just feeling like you're empty or shallow or you're small and you're feeling like a puppet I hear a lot of actors use that word like a puppet no matter how much you are feeling about the project, no matter how much you're prepared, no matter how strong your choice is, you may feel like at the end of the day, if the director says, I need to do this, I just have to do this. And that feeling of you being a puppet more than an artist can be really frustrating because that's not what you're coming in for as an actor you're not coming in to be a puppet to follow to to really just do what you're told so you may have tried a lot of different things to kind of find that place where you can still be you and you can work in a collaboration with the director and you may have done a lot of classes you may have tried a lot of techniques you may have tried to work with bigger and bigger coaches in order for you to really be able to make the right choice so that you never diverge from the director right so you're gonna put all your efforts on you know making some script breakdowns and making the strongest choices and really really try to nail it so that you never defer from the director and so you're not challenged in a way by their direction right and it's understandable that you would do that because you you don't want to disappoint them and you don't want to have that icky feeling about yourself feeling so empty of what you had to offer and suddenly following something else so you're trying to match them and then you might also catch yourself being like super nice super pleasing to make sure that you're always really right where the director is and that there's no gap between you that would force you into something that you're not ready for um, and so you're really really following and as you're doing that, you might be feeling like you're still small. You're not really your big self, your expansive self, your free and instinctive self, right? So what's really happening is actually not a problem that the director is giving you a direction that is different from your own. What's really happening is because you feel that the director is a bigger authority than you, you're really deep down thinking and believing that you should not be yourself, that you cannot be you instinctively and freely, that that is wrong because the authority is the director and not yourself, and that therefore you should repress everything that you're feeling to make sure that you're ahead of the curve and always matching what the director wants, right? And you might have been feeling that, and again, if you're doing that, you're absolutely repressing what you have to offer and all you are left to do is to push certain emotions or certain behaviors in order to match what the director wants in terms of direction you might want to pretend you might want to you know f to do something a certain way like put a mask of something that they're waiting for but actually really not be embodied and feel completely shallow inside so it really, really doesn't work. So what's happening is when you're doing that, when you're 
putting the the director above you and you're under them or the casting director you're really showing up as a tiny little piece of your pie let's say that you're a pie and when you're fully yourself fully present fully free fully instinctive you're enjoying your full pie like this is your full pie and you're offering and gifting your full pie as an artist as a living artist on set right and when you're not doing that when you're showing up believing that the director is above you you're under them you're really showing up with only a little piece of your pie and what's happening is the reason that you're doing that is completely logical there's nothing wrong with you but it's just a consequence of the world that you've been raised in the world that you've been educated in the world that you've been programmed and wired in is a world where as soon as you're born as a child you're under your parents authority you have to listen to what they want of you because your security your safety your survival depends on it and then you go to school and you're also under the teacher's authority and they tell you how to behave how to think how to move when to eat when to pee they are the authority who is telling you how you should be so if you're hearing what i'm saying i'm saying since you were born you have been used and programmed to obey an authority, whether that was your parents or whether that was school and later culture and society, you have been programmed to always follow, never to take over, never to make your own decisions, never to feel your own emotions, never to behave or think what you want, but to actually do what you're told. You have been raised to be great at doing what you're told so if you take that and understand what happens on set when the director is telling you what you should do you've been programmed and trained and raised and wired to do great at what you're told right so you drop everything and you do what you're told however the problem is that as an artist especially as an actor that's not going to do the trick right? Because you are hired to actually bring in your life. You're hired as the only living ingredient on a set. You're the only one. If you think about it, every single other element is not a living, breathing element. The light, the frame, the camera, the sound, none of it, none of it is alive. You're the alive material. Your responsibility as an actor is to bring life to the character. So the thing is, how can you do that when you've been raised to surrender and submit to authority? You can't because none of your plumbing, none of your wiring, none of your programming will allow you to do that. There is no place in your body that can look at authority and say, oh, I can, I can bring something even bigger than you want. When you see authority, you do this because you've been trained to. So it's normal that you do that. So the opportunity here is not the problem. The opportunity is to realize that the reason why you shrink when you get direction from a director or a casting director is not because there's a problem between an actor and a director and direction might not want what you want. The reason is because you're acting with this little piece of your pie with only a tiny little piece because you've been raised to suppress and reduce everything that you are in order to match and follow and be exactly what you're told. So the opportunity here is to realize that you're showing up conditioned, to realize that you're showing up as only a slight little piece of your pie and to take that on and to say, okay, I've been conditioned, which means I do not have access to all of my pie as an instrument. I do not have access to all of my instrument. It's been programmed to respond. It's been programmed to follow. It's been programmed to obey. And as an artist, if I start obeying, I am nowhere because what we want is what comes and emanates from my instrument, right? So the opportunity, once you know what the real root of the problem is, is to actually take that on and say, okay, if I'm going to be, if I am an artist, an actor, we also have singers who are working with us or other artists, I am going to take that on. I am going to work through my conditioning to see who I really am under that condition. Who are you truly? 
What is it about you that is so incredibly unique and unique in the entire world that you have to gift as an artist? And how can you make sure that you have access to that in a very reliable way, under pressure, under urgency, under direction? So what happens when you really have access to your instinct and your freedom it's not something that shuts down as soon as you get direction. It's not something that becomes small. When you really have access to your real instinct and freedom, which I will say you do not have access to right now because you've been programmed not to in our culture. So whatever you feel of your freedom and instinct is the tiniest piece of what is actually available. When you do have access to what you were meant to feel, to the freedom you were meant to experience, the instinct you were meant to enjoy, when you do have access to that, then what you're bringing to the director is way bigger than the direction he's suggesting. Your instinct or your freedom in a particular moment is not one specific type of emotion. It doesn't lock you up in one idea. Your freedom, your instinct, when you really are living and acting from that place, is everything, it's your ultimate presence and it's not restrictive or contradicting a specific direction. You'll be able to take direction bringing your freedom with you because you will have trained for the role from a free and instinctive place rather than from a place that wants to match the right direction in the first place because you're conditioned. So when you're training from a conditioned place, you're only trying to get to the right choice or the best choice or the director's choice. And because you're doing that, you're already closing up your instrument to everything else it had to offer that only you could offer. Once you take care of working through that conditioning and you wake up your instinct and your freedom, you're now no longer working on, on your characters that way. You're now working on your characters from a place of utter openness, utter presence, utter uniqueness that only you can gift. So when you work on your characters from that perspective and you're open to the entire humanity of the possible humanity of your character, you may come with a proposition on set or in your audition, but it's so freaking alive, it's so tangible, it's so yummy that when the director addresses you, he's going to talk to that part of you and then you can respond to that part of you, to, to him from that part of you too. And then those two things blend his vision and your absolutely available infinite endless freedom and instinct are able to dance together and bring in like a yummier version even than what the director had in mind because he is only having a vision of an idea which is not alive you're the alive material that can bring that idea to a much bigger place so that's why we have actors in our community who will go in for tapes or auditions, going in for a role, and then they might not be the type or it might not be the direction, and then the casting director or director will redirect them, and they'll totally take it to a certain different place, and that's when people are getting other offers than the job they came in for. That's when you're actually seen for who you are, not just for a little thing that could match a role. You're being seen because you're being there. You're actually present, instinctive, free, not repressing any of your impulses and emotions. You're really there. So guess what happens? They really see you because when you're not really there, they can't see you for another role. They can't imagine you for another role because you're showing up as this little fake pretend push version of yourself to fit a role. And so they can't see you. They can't actually see the humanity that's vibrating in you. And so they can't think of another character for you because you're not really there. So I hope that makes sense. If you need help for that, if this resonates, get in touch with us, send us a DM. In the link in the bio, we have um, a free training for you. It's called um, Stop Trying to Be a Good Actor, and so you have a chance to be great. So this will definitely take you a step further to everything that we've discussed today, definitely. And if you're like, no, 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 I don't want the free training. I want the whole thing. I want to do this. I want to absolutely work through my conditioning and feel totally free when I'm on set and be able to bring that freedom into the direction, then get in touch with us, send us a, um, a DM and we'll get back to you and voila. All right. Thank you guys. It was nice to chat 
and I'll see you Wednesday for a great interview. All right.